Hi Urban Sketchers! This video tutorial has been created for chapter administrators and workshop organizers to help walk you through the steps to writing a proper press release. The purpose of a press release is to make the press aware of your upcoming event or workshop so that they can write about it in the paper. A press release is a really great tool that you can use to get free advertising for your event and also for your chapter. But forget that I said that because your goal is to convince an editor that your event is newsworthy. The editor isn't interested in giving you free advertising, they're interested in reporting on the news. So let's get started. On the screen you will see a typical press release. A typical press release is usually no longer than one page. The goal is to capture a busy editor's attention. Unless you're really lucky, their story about your event will not be longer than 250 words, so your press release shouldn't be longer than one page. Keep it brief and factual. The journalist will ask you for the details when she interviews you. Include a high resolution graphic or photo, as I've done here. Um, to uh, represent your upcoming event. The journalist will most likely bring their own photographer to your e interview or event, but there's a chance that a photographer might not be available, and they may ask you to use the photo that you've included in the press release, so make it a good one. In the first line, at the top of the page on the left-hand side, you want to include the words FOR IMMEDIATE RELEASE in all caps. This indicates that this is a press release. The headline should be brief, clear, and to the point. I'm not sure I was so successful with this headline, but the headline of a press release is like the headline to a news story. If you've done a good job, the journalist may even use your headline for their story. Write the headline in the present tense and, if you, and avoid a and the as well as forms of the verb to be, if possible, because that's passive. Start, uh, you start with the city, state, and date in which the press originates, and follow that by two dashes. Indent the first paragraph, as I've done here, but not the following paragraphs. The first sentence should expand on the title, and the first paragraph should summarize the entire press release. If uh, Yep. A journalist will not keep reading if the first paragraph doesn't interest them. Include hyperlinks, as I've done here, to your blog or Facebook page where the journalist can go for extra, to get extra information. You should probably also include a complete link, as I've done here, somewhere in the press release. And the reason is because sometimes an uh, editor will print off the press release and hand it in, in on a piece of paper to the journalist and if you've only got hyperlinks then the journalist uh, won't be able to look up more information. So you want to include a complete uh, link somewhere in the press release. Alright, let's talk about content. Scroll up a bit. The content of your press release should be mostly factual. Only include the basics. The basic details that can be answered by who, what, where, when, and why. The who is your regional Urban Sketcher chapter, or you might be talking about uh, your workshop, so the who would be the workshop teacher. The what is that you're announcing an event or an exhibition or a workshop. When is the date the event will be held? Where is the location of the event? And why? Well, the why is why should anyone care? And the answer is that the public will care to know this information because of it's a public event, and people will have fun if they if they attend. Use short, punchy sentences that keep the eye moving across the paper, avoid repetition, strive for simplicity, and no wasted words. Okay, let's talk about quotes. I've included two quotes in among all these facts right here. And there's another one here. The quote is your opportunity to include some emotion in your press release. The rest of the press release should be factual, but a quote gives you the chance to show that you're excited about your upcoming event. It matters to people, and you care, and so will the public. Contact information is very important. You would include your contact information at the bottom left corner of your press release so that the journalist can contact you to ask for an interview. Signal the end of the press release with three hashtags 
centered on the bottom line of the press release. So there you go. Now let's talk about where and when to send it. Now that you've finished writing your press release, don't forget to use spell check. Very important. And now you're ready to send it in the body of your email, not as an attachment. Use your headline right here in the subject line of your email. The timing of the press release is really important too. I'd recommend sending it 10 to 14 days before your event. That gives the editor enough time to assign a journalist and or a photographer to your event. In some cases, the journalist may not be able to attend because of a previous scheduling conflict and may wish to interview you before the event. So you need to send your press release uh, and allow enough time for the journalist to interview you ahead of the event. Send your press release address to the arts, culture, local or city editor of your local newspaper, whomever is the most appropriate. Uh, in my town, if I were sending a press release about my urban sketcher group, I would send it to the arts and culture editor. So that's it, sketchers. That was easy. This is the end of our quick, quick press release writing tutorial. I hope you found it helpful, and I wish you lots of luck attracting the press to your workshop or event, and best wishes for a fabulously successful event. Ciao!